Hi everyone, this is Norma with All My Crochet and today I have a yarn haul for you. Yes, Hobby Lobby has started to put their yarn on clearance. Now there's three local ones that I normally go to and out of the three, only one had some of the yarn on clearance. Everything wasn't on clearance yet. They only had some items um, marked down. I know they're going to be doing more markdowns, um, but... They weren't doing any today. What they had on Clarence, they already had. I didn't see anybody doing anything, any new markdowns today, unless they're going to obviously do it later. But I will be checking back with them. I did not see any Clarence on I Love This Yarn. I don't think they got to that aisle yet. So I'm sure more are coming. Um, again, this was out of one of the Hobby Lobbies, out of three that are near me. The other two... I'm not sure when they're going to start because I called them and they said maybe in the next couple of weeks or they don't know when it's going to happen. So I normally call them before I take a trip over there and ask if is their yarn on clearance or, you know, so I'm not having to drive and I don't find anything. But anyway, I wanted to share with you this yarn haul. I also had brought some beads last week that I'm going to uh, share with you as well. Um, they were on clearance again all their departments were on clearance now so this is the best time to go so anyway let's get started with the yarn so today I started with this this is a cotton I can't read what that says but it's a cotton yarn this is normally used for socks but what I like to use these for is friendship bracelets I make these little friendship bracelets for the craft show that I sell for a dollar and I'll take maybe two strands or three strands and I'll make a bracelet with these and the colors are so pretty so you know I like using this um and I didn't go crazy basically I brought kind of like one of whatever was on clearance I didn't go too crazy because I believe me I have enough yarn already this was on sale for $1.24. So I have this one, and then this one's a little different color. It's still pretty. Okay, so I got these two. And again, they were $1.24. $1 so I got those. Then I found these here. This is $0.87. Cents. And again, this is for socks. And again, I like the color, so I will definitely use these for friendship bracelets. $0.87 cents as well. Okay, and I got these two. This one was a dollar twenty-four, and look at the colors on this one. And then this one was a dollar twenty-four as well. This is like pinks and blues and some greens in here. Might be some yellow. Yep, some yellow in there. Okay. Then I got these neon ones. These are so pretty. I love these neon ones. I can't wait to make bracelets with these. Look how pretty they are. This was 87 cents. Yeah. Super, super cute colors. I love the colors on these. Okay. Then I did find some Must Be Moreno. This one's blush. Regular $6.99 on clearance for $1.99. So this is a blush color. I did find a black color. And this is an olive or sage color. And this is very, very soft. Very, very soft. I love this. So I got one of those. Then they had this one. Must be Moreno, but it's an Aran weight. So it's a little bit thicker than the other ones I just showed you. I have got this one, which is an olive color, I believe. Yeah, olive. And then this is just a white. Right here. Then I found this. Nature's Nook, and it's a sage gray on clearance for $1.37. It's a nice little subtle green. So I got just that one. Then I also found these nylon threads. Now the nylon threads, again, I like using these for the friendship bracelets. They have some nice colors. This one was on clearance for $1.74, regular $6.99. And this is like some black and mix of blues. And these make really nice uh, friendship bracelets as well. And I got this one, same thing, $1.74. And then this one, very pretty. So I got those three. Then I found these. Now these, um, Sugar Wheel Cotton Solid. This one is a blush color. 
on clearance for $1.74, regular $6.99. So I got this blush color. It's a very light pink. I don't know if it's showing on camera good, but it's a very light pink. Then I got this yellow and black. These yellow and black definitely going to make some bumblebees with these. And these I probably brought about four of each color, I believe. Because I will definitely use this color more than any other. Then I found these. I love this cotton. And again, I didn't go crazy with these because I have enough. And I'm sure I have plenty of this downstairs where I keep my yarn. So this is a green color, 99 cents. And I have this one that's a yellow one. 99 cents and then this one is I believe a coral color for 99 cents so I got those three now I did want to show you this right here the last thing here this is I love this yarn and it's a sampler of different colors and it was regular $24.99 on clearance for I believe it's I can't tell. You know what? I can't see. I have to look at my receipt. I think it says three. Let me see if I can turn this over. If the camera will help. Um, I believe it's three seventy-seven. I don't know. I'll have to look at that in um, on my receipt just to make sure. Okay, so my receipt said three ninety-nine for this one. Regular twenty-four ninety-nine. It was on clearance for three ninety-nine, and you have all of these little sampler colors right here. So I'm gonna bring the beads out and show you what I got. So these are the beads that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. They're all novelty beads. This one was on clearance for 99 cents. And these are some rainbow and unicorns. Got that. Then this one is 57 cents and there's some crumbs. And again, I like using these beads. I make bracelets um, for the craft show for the kids. And this is 99 cents. This one is some shells and I think some mermaids in here. Shells and mermaids, 120 pieces. This one, oh, this one's some more rainbows. Rainbows and unicorns. This was 99 cents. This one here is just some sea turtle mix some turtles and just different colors um, of uh, sea mix and it's 99 cents okay then this one is some ice princess mix and there's some white stars and some pretty color beads 99 cents 172 pieces got that and I have this one this one is a mermaid and seashell mix right here Again, 99 cents. And we have this one. It's a star and princess mix. So there's different stars in there. Some nice little pearls. And this one. This one was in a different section than beads. Um, I think this was by the kids' um, summer stuff. 99 cents. And this is polymer clay bead bracelet kits. So it's got all these little... little um, beads here and these little I don't know what you call them spacers I guess this was 99 cents then I found these round beads these are fluorescent pink 360 for 74 cents I love this pink then I also got some blue and then some other colors here let me bring these forward this nice yellow fluorescent yellow again 360 pieces for 74 cents then Sapphire, 360, 49 cents. And then this one is just some large crystal, 150 for 57 cents. Okay, so I got those. Then I found these also. This one was $1.24. Um, and I can't tell how many are in here. Sorry, I can't see. <laughs> Even with my glasses, I can't see how many is in here. Um, but it was $1.24. It's like a black mix with some silver tones on it. Very pretty. Then I got these. $1.49. Very, very pretty. Then these here are some like glitter ones. $1.24. Okay. 
Then these are some hearts, $1.24. Then I have this one, it's kind of like a flower bead, $1.99. It's like a golden green. Oops. Then I got this one here, $1.74. It's got some little hearts on it. It's a round bead with some little hearts on it. And I found this pack here for a uh, $2.24. These are like some pearl mix of pearls. It's got different sizes in here. Okay. Then let me put this to the side here. And I found some other stuff. Let me get this stuff here. So these items were on clearance also. Um, this was from in the jewelry shop area. And it's kind of like a a little key ring right here that you can I'll probably make, you know, do something with this put some beads or string some beads on something and um, sell these at the craft show. This was 99 cents and you get three pieces. So I definitely got what they had. They had more than two. I have a few more that I also picked up. So I got those. Then this is also uh, from Metal Gallery on Clarence for $1.24. It's just pink and black. Then they had these charms here. These are little heart charms, $1.99. And they had these jump rings for $1.87, which I'll be using. And they had these uh, jewelry findings here for $1.87. This one here for $1.87 as well. Then these are some earring um, to make earrings, $1.87 on clearance. Now these weren't um, on clearance. I just bought them because I was going to use them for different things. This was 50% off right here. And some other jump rings. These are a little bit bigger jump rings. And then these are some earring studs that I was going to glue some, some charms that I have on there. And this is uh, a baby pin, and I was going to glue some charms that I have on this. And here are some more key rings, different colors. And then I wanted to try these out as well. These are kind of like little wristlets or bracelets. Um, key rings so I was going to see what I can do with those as well so this is what I got from Hobby Lobby I'm going to show you what I got from Michael's next so these are some of the beads that I got on Clarence at Michael's and these don't have any prices and honestly I can't find the receipt so I can't tell you how much they were but I can show you them they're pretty colors this one had 200 again I honestly can't remember how much they were but they were definitely on clearance. Got these. And I had gotten this. And then these as well. These are just some key rings and some stuff. You know, these were regular price. This was, I think, $3.99. These are some plastic chain links. So I got these, and there's 400 pieces in this. Some plastic. And then here, these are some like hearts and stars and oval chain links, um, 200 pieces. And I think this was $3.99 as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you what my tutorials are going to be for the future. Now, I plan on making some. It's going to be sooner than later. <laughs> so let me show you what I have here. I have this bee right here. It's going to be a mommy and me bee. Now, it's the same pattern for this little bee and for this big bee. It's the exact same pattern. I'm going to show you how to make it and I'm going to show you how what I did to make it chunky like this. It's the same yarn. This is using one strand. This is using three strands of yarn and I'm going to show you how I did it so that you can make it and it's the same pattern for both. Okay, so it's a mommy and me bee. Same thing with this whale. It's a little whale using one strand of yarn. This one is using three strands of yarn, and I'm going to show you how to do it with just one skein. I'm not going to have three separate yarns of the blue. It's going to be with one skein using three yarns to make it this chunky, okay? So it's going to be a mommy and me whale, a mommy and me bee, okay? Then I also made this pattern, okay? Now this one is a fidget spinner as well. And this one has two beads on here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two pony beads on here. Very easy, very simple to do. And I kind of put this on here so you can, you know, clutch it on your key ring on a backpack or something. 
and if you wanted to spin these little beads around you can do that this one it only has one and you can i added a key ring for this so you can put your keys or whatever you want and then you can play with these little beads here okay and then i made this key ring which is a little bit different it's a wristlet one okay you can put it on your wrist put your keys and then these little beads right here do fidget they do spin if you wanted to do that or just leave it like this for decor now these gold beads i brought at the dollar tree right here they had gold and i believe they had silver so i'm not sure what i'll use for this but um it's a very very easy pattern so i did this one in red and blue okay so i'm going to show you i'm going to do a tutorial for this i'm going to do a tutorial for this and then this is the next doll dress that i'm going to do now i don't know the color doesn't seem to be coming out really good on camera for some reason but this is a nice peach color okay now i did a tutorial for the willy wisher for the 14 inch doll um for this dress so now i'm going to do the tutorial for the 18 inch doll okay so it's again it's very similar to that one obviously there's more stitches at the top and here it's definitely bigger so i'm going to do a tutorial on this one as well so these are the tutorials that i have coming forward soon and i hope to see you guys soon and i appreciate your time thank you and have a great day